we're installing the hub and drum assembly over the Guardian HP seal with a hub and drum lifting device. We have the outer bearing that has already been lubricated and the auto torque axle fastener. I put a red paint pen mark on the outer portion of the nut, which has a locking tang that goes into the groove at the bottom of the spindle. We're going to spin the auto torque on until the fastener touches the face of the outer bearing. We're going to remove the lifting device and then we're going to install the retainer. We put that on and now all the operator has to do is spin the hub. We're going to spin the hub until we hear a loud clutching mechanism on the axle fastener itself. You can see that the paint mark is still spinning. It will get to a point where it stops spinning. Once it stops spinning, we want to spin that hub and drum assembly 360 degrees five times, and then we will remove that locking collar. After we remove the locking collar, the most important step is to check the end play. The auto torque axle fastener puts the wheel end in a slight amount of preload. We want to verify that we have zero movement on that hub and drum assembly. We're going to put the dial indicator on and push in on the hub with about 40 to 50 pounds of force while slightly oscillating the hub. And then we're going to do the same thing while pulling out. This completes the installation of the auto torque axle fastener.